Coming to you live from the Black Goat 39 Studios, this is the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. Now here's your host, the Guru of Sports. Hello, sports fans, and welcome. Welcome to episode 79. Episode 79 of the Guru Talk of Sports podcast. I am your host, the Guru of Sports. Well, what a week one in professional football, NFL. What a week one. This was one of the best weeks I've seen in the NFL. Now, excuse me for a second. Uh, I'm working the boards here because, you know, Caden Guru isn't here. I'm going to talk about Caden Guru. I'm going to talk about a few things, but I just wanted to welcome you in to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast, Episode 79. Now, first of all, I want to say I am so thankful for the guys last week, and, you know, they really helped me out. Um Derek B, I'm I'm trying to get him back in. He's been, you know, we've been going through a few things with technical difficulties, but we're going to, you know, Derek B is going to be back pretty soon. I want you guys to know that I really appreciate all the, all the stuff that you've been sending me, all the, you know, uh, well wishes and everything. And, you know, we've been, we've been really, really tight here. We've been really trying to get everything together. It's been a lot of stuff that's been going on. I basically have been traveling again, like I usually do. And I really appreciate um, the company I work for because I travel a lot. And I've been very, very tired. Now, let me give you a little rundown on what happened last weekend. Okay, last weekend I had to travel. I got home. I had to put down my stuff, take a shower, get ready, and then I had to drive from Delaware all the way up to Pennsylvania to watch Caden Guru play his football games. Now, Caden Guru's team is not that good, but the thing about it is that Caden Guru is very, very, um, he's a, he's a good, you know, he's a good kid and he wants to get out there and help his team and, and, and do well. Um, the team isn't that, that good, but, like I said, Caden is uh, out there doing his best, and um, they, oh man, they they got shut out when I went to see them at their first home game of the season. Um, they basically had have no passing game. They basically just ran the ball for all that time. But Caden Guru is not discouraged. He's very much in it to win it if they can ever win it. But Kaden Guru is going to be all right because he is determined to just stick in there and be a part of it. Because, like I said, they they only have like 20, 20 some odd kids. Kaden is playing offense, defense, special teams, kickoff team, punt return team, punt everything. He's playing everything. I'm glad that he's getting the playing time, and I'm glad that he's getting the uh, the the you know being able to play. And he's coming off, this is his first year playing. He's fresh. So he's basically doing the things that he could do with the limited amount of uh, players that they have. So like I I mentioned is that he's going to be out there playing everything. And he's doing good. I've seen technique and, um, you know, things that he's been doing. He looks pretty good. Now after, like I said, we we picked Caden Guru. I picked Caden Guru up. Then I took him home, took him to my house, and then I had to drive back down to Delaware. I had, 
on Sunday, I had to drive back up to uh, Pennsylvania to drop him off with his mom. And I got home and I was exhausted. I, I've been doing a lot of driving. And, you know, Ms. Guru has been telling me I shouldn't be doing that much driving because of work. I do a lot of driving at work. And she was, you know, very concerned. But, you know, me, I have to get out there and I have to show my support for King Guru. What I do as a father is basically try to show my support for all of my kids that, and let them know that I'm right there for them and doing what I can. Now, um, I do want to mention that, you know, we've been, we've been, like I said, we've been really, really busy and going on. Now, this today is a special uh, Sunday morning edition, only because, uh, Saturday night, I was just exhausted. I came home. Uh, we were out in the park with the kids. The kids, you know my kids, Alex and uh, Ellie. We were out with them, and they ran around, and they wore me out. I came home, ate some ribs, and I, I, I'm just basically just tired. Okay, now we are... Where are we, where are we at? We are... Um, Episode 79, this is, uh, you know, Guru Talking Sports Podcast, like I mentioned again today. Um, this is Sunday morning, only because, uh, like I said, this is a special Sunday morning edition. Um, we're going to go back to Saturday nights, and we're going to be able to uh, finish up our Saturday night live. Uh, I know I can't say, well, I can say that. I mean, you know, Saturday night live ain't going to say anything to me. Uh, Saturday nights, we usually do Saturday nights. Um now, I told you guys before that I'm going to give a, give you a few things that are new to the program, new to the podcast, okay? First of all, I'm going to do college rap. I'm going to give you a little basic rundown of what happened yesterday in college football. All the, all the stuff is done now, and like I said, I wanted to make sure that you get a little bit of a college feel. We kind of tend to ignore the college game because of everything else that's going on. Now, like I said, baseball is still going on. The Padres are still spinning. The Cardinals are still, <clears throat> real, you know, getting up there and getting close to the wild card. Everything in baseball is going on. We're still going to let you guys know about all the other sports. But right now, the NFL is going to take a little bit of, uh, you know, front seat. And, you know, that's how it is. Football drives everything. So, I want you guys to know that I haven't forgot about baseball. I'm going to do baseball. But first of all, like I said, the college rap is coming. Um, that'll be the first segment. The second segment will be, he's a bad man, and I'm going to give out a victory cigar to somebody. Okay, the third thing is going to be the poo-poo of the week, which is something that I used to do on my live YouTube show. I had to bring it back because we all know that somebody stinks in the NFL. And believe me, nobody could stink worse than this team that I'm going to mention later on. Okay, and then we're going to end with the picks of the week. We do have taps because the passing of Norm McDonald on uh, a couple days back um, was very, very uh, saddening. I was sad to hear. And then I'm going to go through all the, uh, you know, preliminary stuff that I have, the social media, the podcast outlets, the big props and everything like that, and then we're going to wrap this show. Okay, first of all, the college rap. Now, Alabama did beat Florida, Florida by two points, barely won, you know, and I was looking at this game a little bit, and I saw that Alabama did have a tough fight. At first, they didn't have, it seemed like it wasn't tough, but did Florida come, come, came back in the end? And now Florida, you know, Alabama is what two, three, and oh, or whatever. I don't really care. Cincinnati, Clemson, Ohio State, they all basically had a fight and a struggle, but they all won their games. Ohio State, you know, I'm a big Buckeye fan. I was really concerned. I was watching this game. That defense is not that good. Now, I'm really, really worried now because. Penn State and Michigan, Michigan, yeah, I do mention Michigan. Michigan is very, very good now. They are very good. Now, you know, Michigan laid 63 on the team, you know, and I, I got to, you know, 
fed it was a, a you know a, a some subpar team but Minnesota won also big win they shut out somebody you know I'm not going to give you scores or anything you know if I can I'm just going to give you the premise of what happened on Saturday okay also MSU Michigan State upset Miami that is you know that is something else but then again I look at it this way Mel Tucker is a great coach, and you remember Mel Tucker was a defensive coordinator for the Jaguars. He actually stood in as a head coach, and I'm glad that Mel Tucker is uh, doing well up at Michigan State. They beat Miami, and they handled them pretty pretty well. Maryland is 3-0. and Okay, that happened on Friday night. Maryland actually is leading the Big Ten, or the, the eastern part of the Big Ten, <laughs> By game. Uh, uh, now, this is something that you will never see. Ever see probably in your lifetime. Maryland is actually better than Ohio State right now. Yes, I said it. And I'm the biggest Ohio State honk there is. They are actually better than Ohio State. I, I can't believe it, but Maryland is for real. UCLA was upset by Fresno State. I watched that. Uh, watched a little bit of that game. And I can't believe that uh, UCLA lost, but that was a that was a game. The 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 Fresno State quarterback was hurt basically, and they were going back and forth, blow for blow. They were slugging it out, and in the end, I sh- you know they shouldn't have gave them the ball at the end, but Fresno State pulls it out. That was a great game. All right, now that's the college wrap for right now. I just want to tell you guys that. That is something that's going to be permanent, and that is something that's going to be, uh, we're going to go through that every single week. We're going to give you the college wrap, and like I mentioned before, we're going to talk about baseball. We're going to talk about all the other stuff that's in, that's going on in sports, but like the main thing right now is the NFL, and believe me, I, I kind of, you know, the NFL for me right now is like, you know, I, I'm I'm really good with it. I and you know that baseball season is still going on, and we still got you know we still got a World Series champion. We have to, you know, crown and everything. But baseball is back, and believe me, they you know, baseball. I mean, I'm sorry, football is back. You know, I'm it's still early for me. You know, Guru doesn't do good in the early morning. You know, Guru's got to get back to Saturday nights because that's when, you know, Guru does a little bit better. But it's early for me. It's really early. So, like I mentioned before, you know, football is back. And that drives everything. Everybody wants to know about football. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to He's a Bad Man. And I want you to listen to this clip. And this is where I got this from. Uh, Come here. Come here. He shook up the world. He shook up the world. That's right. He did. Now, the man that I'm going to give the first, he's a bad man to, is no other than Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray led the Arizona Cardinals over the Tennessee Titans. And every time I looked up at highlights, Kyler Murray was throwing a touchdown. This kid, I'm telling you, Kyler Murray is really, really good. I didn't really think that he was going to be committed because of, you know, his involvement with uh, baseball. And, and, you know, he was going to be a little bit like, well, you know, I don't know if it's baseball. I don't know if it's going to be football. But I'll tell you one thing right now. Kyler Murray is a great, 
great young quarterback. Second year in, and believe, believe it, these kids are pretty good. Justin Herbert, Kyler Murray, Joe Burrow, all these young quarterbacks are very, very good. And I think that Kyler Murray is probably the cream of the crop out of that class, that, you know, that second, that sophomore class that's going on right now. All right, so Kyler Murray wins the, uh, he's a bad man for this week. And believe, believe it, he is going to be one of my favorites for the bad man of the year. And we, like I said, we're going to have a lot of people. We're going to have a lot of people that's going to be, you know, bad man of the, you know, bad man of the week. And I have to give him the victory cigar as well. But Kyler Murray wins it for me this weekend or for for the past week because, like I said, I like I like what I saw from Kyler Murray. Uh, he wasn't rivaled. He basically got in there and played his game, and he was, you know, spectacular, fantastic. All right, now we got to go to the poo poo of the week, and you know I don't know. I haven't even figured out any music or. Or drop for poo poo of the week yet, but I know I have to give it to this team. It's got to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. I know my Jaguars look so terrible, and right now they're in a flux with everything that's going on in Jacksonville. Now we all heard the news of uh, USC firing Clay Helton, and now there's rumors and talks of. What if Herb wanted to go down there? You know, I look at it this way. Herb took this job from ShotCon because he wanted to rebuild Jacksonville, the team. And, you know, I really think that, you know, if you really are committed to doing something, you should be able to do it. And, you know, I look at it this way. You know, Jacksonville has been a total mess from the beginning. I mean, 2017, they had a chance to go to the Super Bowl. And I, you know, I'm I'm a loyal fan. I am a loyal fan. I've been with this team ever since. Only because when the Colts, the Baltimore Colts, moved to uh, Indianapolis, changed their name to Indianapolis, I didn't have a football team for a long time. And I admit, Guru admits that uh, he was an Eagle fan for a little bit. Now, he had, you know, when Jacksonville and Carolina came into the league, I should have took Carolina because they have been a little bit more successful. Not that great right now, but they're a little bit more successful. But Jacksonville has been always uh, one of my favorite, you know, cities uh, in America, I got to admit. I haven't been down there yet. My cousin lives down there. I got to give a shout out to my cousin, Damon. Damon, appreciate you. I'm glad we talked on Friday. You know, it's always good to hear from you, and I really appreciate you. Um, I want to definitely get down there for a game, but I want to basically go down there when I can, you know, when I can be assured that they're going to win a game. Believe me, I want to go down there when they when they're pretty decent at least. But Jacksonville gets the poo poo of the week. Also, I got to give it to you know. Well, the Packers, Green Bay earned a little bit of it, but it was nobody worse than Jacksonville, and that it, it just looked terrible. You know, I, I give it to Green Bay. Green Bay played against a very good Saints team, and we didn't know that Jameis Winston was going to be able to do what he did. But he, you know, Jameis Winston looked pretty good, okay? Now, it was one of the things that I wanted to mention that, you know, we don't know what these teams are right now. This is only the first week. You know, we could say, okay, well, you know, Seattle looks good. Now, we didn't know Tennessee was going to look as bad as they did. We didn't know that... uh Cincinnati was going to pull out an overtime win over Minnesota. We don't know how bad Minnesota is. We don't know yet. You know, I'm going to say give it about maybe five or six weeks because you got to remember another thing. They don't have a fourth preseason game. 
So, you know, most of the stuff that you see now is going to be a little bit of, you know, spotty, spot, you know, real not really good football right now. Because you got to you got to remember, that fourth preseason game did make a difference. And you know, with the 17th game added on, you know, there's going to be a lot of different things that's going on as well. Now, I want to do mention fantasy stuff. Now, I did get my fantasy league back up and going again. And uh, I want to say that I, I'm trying to be a very, very good commissioner. I opened up a little, a couple things in the fantasy league. And I got to give big props to uh, Kane Guru. Kane Guru won his first game in, in uh, his father's league. And I want to give him big props. First ever win. In his in in Guru's league, and I give him big props. Okay, now let's go to the picks of the week. Um, picks of the week is going to be a segment that we do. And first of all, I want to make sure that we have the proper music for the picks of the week. And here we go with my favorite. Yes, the autumn wind. <laughs> All right, now New Orleans is minus three over Carolina. I'm going to take New Orleans in the minus three. I know I shouldn't be talking over this, but I am. I'm going to take New Orleans in the minus three. I got to get out here and get my... Okay, it's a little bit loud now. All right, let me try to turn it down a little bit. Now, if you can hear this, I'm trying, I'm, I'm doing all this stuff by myself because Kane Guru isn't here, but I'm trying to get this stuff together, and I, I got, I got two computers set up here now. I love this song. This will be the, uh, Picks of the Week music from now on. <laughs> because I'm a Raider fan, I love this music. And I tell people all the time, tell everyone in this household, you have to stand up when this is being played. This is like a national anthem. Even the dogs stand up. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, Alex and Ellie had a birthday on the 17th on uh, Friday night, and uh, we had a party for them. Okay, all right. Okay, we get the premise of, of what we're doing here. Anyway... Uh, Alex and Ellie uh, turned, Alex turned five, I know I'm talking about Alex and Ellie inside the football, um, Alex turned five, and um, he is very, very big and healthy, and he, he thinks he's a big dog, but he's still a little small, and he's still a baby to me, and Ellie is one now, she's one, and you ought to see her, she, she is something else, she is such a and she follows me all over the house because she knows that when I get home from off the road and everything, she just wants to be with daddy. And she, I noticed one thing about her. She always sits on me and she sits on me and, you know, I can be laying down or something like that. She'll sit down on my, you know, my chest or my butt or whatever, but she loves sitting on me. I'm like her couch. So, Okay. Now, let's get back to the picks of the week. Okay, picks of the week, I'm going to do this. Like I mentioned before, New Orleans is going to go uh, three-and-a-half point favorite over Carolina. I'm going to take New Orleans. Okay, Cleveland is a 13-point favorite over Houston. Houston with that big win last week over Jacksonville, which I couldn't believe. Um, I'm going to take Houston to cover the spread in this game. 13 points is a lot. Two touchdowns is a lot. I'm going to say Cleveland's going to win this game. Cleveland is going to win this game, no matter what. But Houston, I'm going to say they're going to cover. And just mark these down because, like I mentioned before, Guru is talking to you. But, we'll, you know, we'll, we throw out the records when Guru picks because the Guru is always right. Now... Okay, here we go. Chicago is a four-point favorite over Cincinnati. After I've seen what Cincinnati did last week, I'm going to take Cincinnati for the win. 
and cover the four points. I, I think they can beat Chicago, and I think they, they can basically, uh, Chicago, I, I don't know. They're, they're just, uh, they're a mess up there, too. You know, Kyle Murray is actually, or, or you know, I mean, not Kyle Murray. Uh, my kid from Ohio State, I can't think of his name right off now. Like I said, gurus that have a whole lot of stuff on his mind. Whatever. Um, I'll take Cincinnati to win this game. Okay. Now, we just heard the autumn win, and the next pick is for my Las Vegas Raiders. I will take Pittsburgh is a six-point favorite over Las Vegas. I'm going to take Las Vegas the points, and I'm going to take them to win the game. Yes, I am going to take my Raiders to win the game. Yes, indeed. Okay. Buffalo is a a three-and-a-half-point favorite over Miami. I'm going to take Buffalo and the three points. I will take them. Okay. L.A. Rams is a three-point favorite over Indianapolis. I I don't know what Carson Wentz is doing. I don't know what the hell they plan on doing with him or whatever. The Rams are a superior team, and I will take them and the three points. I Like I mentioned before, I got to hurry up and get up out of here because I got to lay my bets. I got a lot of stuff to do on a Sunday morning, so I want to make sure I got that done. Okay, San Francisco is a four-point favorite over Philadelphia. I'm going to take San Francisco in the four points. All right. Denver is a six-point favorite over Jacksonville. I can't, after that performance last week and the way Jacksonville has been playing, uh, I know it's only week one, but I'm still going to take Denver in the six points. They're going to be dumb. I hate to say it, but, yeah, I you know, like I mentioned before, Guru will call you out. Who will call you out? Even if it's my team, I'm going to take Denver in the six points. They're going to win that game. Jacksonville ain't got no chance, really. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, Urban Meyer, you know, you better get your, you know, you better get your ass in gear, say, say the least. Okay, New England is a three and a half point favorite over uh, the Jets. I'm going to take New England and the three points. I don't think the Jets will cover. I think New England with Matt Jones is going to be able to be a little bit better. Minnesota is playing Arizona. Arizona is a three and a half point favorite. I'm going to take Arizona to win that game after what I've seen with Kyler Murray and after what I've seen with Deion Hopkins and their defense, Buda Baker, everything. I like them. All right. Tampa Bay is a 10 point favorite over Atlanta. Atlanta, they look terrible too. Right? They should have been part of the poo poo of the week. We thought that they were going to do something. I want to see Kyle Pitts uh, play and see him what he can do. Um, I have him on one of my fantasy teams, and I'll make sure that I picked him up. But I like uh, Tampa Bay. I don't like the 10 points, but I'm going to take Tampa Bay. I don't think Atlanta's going to cover either because of what I've seen last week. And like I mentioned before, this is only week one, so I'm just going by what I see. Okay, Seattle is a three-point favorite over Tennessee. I'm going to take Seattle and the three points, okay? Um, Los Angeles Chargers are a three-point favorite over Dallas. I'm going to take the Chargers and the three points, okay? Kansas City is a three-point favorite over Baltimore. Baltimore, and that game with uh, the the Raiders the other night was a back-and-forth heart heart. Heart attack waiting to happen. And believe me, I had a heart attack when I found out that uh, they won. I was actually traveling on that Tuesday. Uh, I had got up early, real, real early morning, and I had to go. But anyway, I'm taking Kansas City. Kansas City is uh, very superior. Uh, Green Bay and Detroit. Now, I'm going to take Green Bay to win this game, but I'm going to take Detroit to cover. Detroit looked pretty good against San Francisco. And... um. San Francisco almost let them slide back into this game. So I'm going to definitely take uh, Green Bay. But I'm going to take Detroit to cover. And uh, like I mentioned before, uh, Green Bay looked terrible. They really did. I mean, I could not believe. But 
Was it because they were playing in Jacksonville? I don't know. We have to explain explain that to me. But I just want to let you guys know that I do think that Detroit can cover the spread. Ten, ten, ten points I've seen in several different places. And I do look at all different types of sports books to make sure that I, I'm, I'm kind of accurate with my um, – with my picks and the point spreads and everything like that. And, you know, like I said, when we get a chance, we'll go into the over-unders and all that stuff. But right now, I just wanted to make sure I got the point spreads out there for you. Because of gambling and how it's affecting the uh, culture of sports right now, it's legal to do it. And believe me, some of these sites kind of piss me off and make me mad. Because... I, I, you know, I see all these offers for uh, FanDuel and Caesars and all that stuff, but they're not available in my area. You know, I understand that, you know, I'm close to, I'm close to Maryland, I'm close to Pennsylvania, I'm close to New Jersey. You know, they offer all this stuff, but, you know, I don't want you to, you know, kind of tease me over this. But I do like gambling, I do, I, you know, I... I don't encourage it, but you know I'm not. I'm the type of gambler that I know my limits. I know my limits, and I'm not hooked on gambling. Believe me, I'm hooked on a lot of other things like God and uh, making sure my health is in you know good shape and you know good order. I'm um, and you know worried about Caden, Caden Guru all the time. He plays football, and hopefully he doesn't you know do things and get hurt. Knock on wood. But, you know, I, I just try to make sure that I I have uh, I have these lines out here and have this stuff out here for you. I try to make it available for you, okay? Now, I do want to say that, you know, I want to go into uh, taps, which is something that I don't really like. I hate, I hate taps. I really do because taps actually takes away from some of our favorite people that we have. And this week we lost Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald was on Saturday Night Live. And um, I think one of the reasons why he left the show is because he used to get on O.J. Simpson a lot. Okay, here's a couple clips. And I want to mention that this is not really uh, appropriate because of the, the... the content funny in a way it, it depends on how you see this funny in a way because funny you know jokes are something that we all like and we all try to make fun of but I don't really have you know anything laughable about um Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron uh, Goldman I have nothing funny about that Comedy is made from everything, you know, and comedy is one of the things that I really like and I listen to, and I, I kind of understand, but the clip I'm getting ready to play, I don't want you to take this as me being uh, an advocate for what's going on. O.J. Simpson murdered two people. We understand that. Um. We don't want to make light and funny business about it, but the professionals have jokes, and I laugh at the professionals joking about jokes, and that's it. I want you guys to understand that I'm not an advocate for murder. I'm not an advocate for anybody doing anything wrong or disrespectful, but again, I'm going to play these clips. And I'm only going to play a couple of them because really murder and killing people is not really a joking matter. Okay, here's Norm MacDonald. And and this is why, and I got this off of YouTube. 35 minutes of why Norm MacDonald got fired from Weekend Update and basically fired from SNL. Here we go. In his civil court deposition this week, O.J. Simpson denied under oath that he ever punched, kicked, or slapped his ex-wife, Nicole. 
Oh, great. As if O.J. isn't busy enough tracking down the real killers, now he's got to track down the real wife beater, too. It's... <laughs> this guy... This guy is crazy. And in Brentwood, O.J. himself was spotted manning a lemonade stand with his daughter, Sydney. Asked by reporters why sales were so poor, O.J. replied, beats me. And then he went back to cutting lemons with a giant knife. <laughs> rest in peace, Norm MacDonald. Um, I couldn't play the rest of this stuff because, like I was mentioning before, I can't, you know, I can't really get into uh, murder. And jokes about murder is not really cool. But I wanted to play it, and like I said, if you want to, you know, get on me about playing clips of murder and playing clips of O.J. Simpson or whatever, call me and let me know. 302-468-7239. 302-468-7239. Okay. I'm going to wrap up the show with uh, a couple of little thoughts. And um, I want you guys to know that I really appreciate everything that everybody has been sending me, to, you know, um, you know, like we was doing what, what we was doing on the Sunday morning show earlier, a couple weeks ago, we were doing, or a couple weeks back and a couple episodes back, we were doing basically the things of, uh, people sending me stuff in. And at one point it seemed like it was just all women sending me stuff and, um, congratulating me and, you know, but you know, yeah, ask the guru. You can ask the guru anything. I I had that on my um, YouTube show, but I'm I might bring that back. But I really appreciate everybody's uh, comments and thoughts. And this is what I want you to do: if you have thoughts, if you have comments, if you have suggestions or anything, I encourage you to stop. You know, check in on the guru, and you know, you know, let, give us give us your opinion. I want to hear your opinion. Okay, let me get out of here, but I want to say, uh, you know, this has been a, you know, I'll, I, I got to go through the uh, preliminary, ah, preliminaries. You know, sometimes, I think my problem is with when I talk, the brain goes a little bit faster where it doesn't connect with the mouth. Now, I don't have a speech impediment or anything like that. But the thing about it is that I try to think a lot and then it tries to come out and it doesn't come out right. But I want you guys to know that I really appreciate you and thank you for everything that you guys do. Okay. Uh, I don't know where Goaty is. Uh, I don't know where he's, where he's doing. Um, like I mentioned before, we got another goat named Cans and uh, Cans is all messed up now. Anyway, here we go. Follow me on YouTube. I'm at the Guru of Sports Show on YouTube. Facebook, I'm at Guru's Daily Shorts. On Facebook, I'm El Briscoe. IG, I'm at The Gurus, Gurus OS39. And I'm also, I uh, have uh, Alex Daisy and Ellie's uh, uh, Instagram page up on Instagram, they're at the Gurus Kids DAE. Okay, Gmail me at Gurus Daily Shorts at gmail.com. Twitter, I'm on GOAT39 on Twitter, at GOAT39 on Twitter. Black GOAT39 on Twitter is GOATY. Okay, um, podcast outlets. Spreaker is the main vessel that we come out of, and we're everywhere. We're on Spotify, Podchasers, Podomatics, um, Amazon Alexa. Can't say it real loud because I know that she'll probably say something. Uh, iTunes, Anchor, uh, follow us everywhere. iHeartRadio and is all that stuff. Big props to Damian Adams. We, we appreciate you. Big props to Miss Mary Mack. Big props to my man, Jeff Duarte. Um, I did get my uh, get my password back. And I'm definitely going to be writing some. I I owe you. I owe I owe you, Jeff. Uh, I really appreciate you, and I want you to know that I really I owe you everything because uh, without your help, without your uh, guidance, 
without your, uh, you know, help, I'll just say help, um, Guru wouldn't be who he is today. I really appreciate you, Jeff. The crew, I want to say, is Caden Guru, executive producer, and football hero. Like I said, he's playing offense, defense. He's playing everything. And I told him, I said, get ready to be fitted for that nice little uh, letterman's jacket. Vinny V, uh, my executive technical advisor. Um, Ray Guru is my musical director. Really appreciate you. Dante Guru is a co-host to the co-host to the co-host. And Dante, I really appreciate you. Thank you for, uh, you know, both you and uh, Katie and Guru. Thank you guys for coming in last week and helping me out. Derek B is my co-host. He'll be back soon. Um, he's been working very hard. And I really appreciate you. And like I said, we will be connecting back pretty soon. All right. I want to give a shout out to Kate. Thank you, Kate, again. I really appreciate you. You're always great. Great Kate. That's what I'm going to start nicknaming you. Uh, I think I'm going to nickname you that great Kate because you always watch over me. and You help me out when I get get back into, uh, get back from off the road. And I thank you. Well, I appreciate your friendship, I appreciate your dedication to helping people out, and I respect you, and thank you very, very much. Okay, um, my other uh, Twitter peeps is Rick and Buffalo, I appreciate you. Bella B, I appreciate you, and uh, believe me, Bella, I am a Charger fan as well. I will be writing for Cali Sports News about the Chargers. I know you mentioned the charges. We are going to talk about some charges on this. And I want to make sure that the charges do well. And hopefully, hopefully they beat Dallas and we can talk about them. They'll be top. They'll be top of the list for my show next week. Uh, Rick in Buffalo, he's a Buffalo Bill fan. I appreciate him. Mel, I appreciate you. You're a Buffalo Bill fan. And I want you guys to remember, I am. I like every team. I like every team, even though that Philadelphia thinks that I hate them. I don't hate you, Philadelphia. You just uh, you finally won a championship. I don't, which I don't remember. I don't know how, but you guys won. So whatever. Jeff and Southfield, I haven't heard from you in a while, but I'm gonna be reaching out to you pretty soon because I might have you come in here and pick some games with me. And that's one of the things I'm gonna do this also. If you know how to pick games, I'll have you pick games. Okay, Alberta Girl 34, appreciate you. Um, DA Illuminati's Originals, I appreciate you as well. I got to get up out of here. Model would say this has been a black. This has been a Black Goat production for Black Goat Entertainment, copyright 2021, all rights reserved. My motto is also: we don't steal from nobody. We always appreciate and never hate. We are going to be out of here. We will be back with episode 80. That's right. Episode 80 will be next week. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the things that you do. You guys take care of yourself. The guru will see you back here next week. And go, congrats, you know, good luck to everybody's teams. We will see you. Guru is going to get out of here right now. That was a good catch by a guy from North Carolina. They won as well. You guys take care. Guru, we'll see you real soon. Later.